A lot of people think they're locked out of the housing market. A lot of people think, I can't afford to buy a house. I want you to turn that thinking on its head. Empower yourselves and say, I choose not to buy into this market. Anybody entering this market is crazy at the moment. But empower yourselves. Don't feel that somehow you are a second-class citizen or a discard from life. You're not. Not at all. It's just that you're not buying a house. It's about saying, these house prices are crazy and I'm going to wait. House prices started falling in Japan 20 years ago. Uh, they started falling in the US about five years ago. Now, for purposes of convenience, this graph has centred them both on that point there, so you can actually compare how the two fared. Um, the 20 years after that, well, they, you can see, see, look, they went up beautifully, didn't they? And they went down again. Hindsight's a wonderful, wonderful tool. Where would you like to buy if you knew when to buy? Well, you'd buy here, and you'd sell there, and you'd buy back in there, wouldn't you? But you wouldn't buy now, because we're at the top. Lousy time to buy. Just so that you actually see what a bubble looks like. Prices go up and they steepen as they go up. Prices do this. And it gets to a point where, like an aeroplane flying straight up into the air, it simply can't go on anymore and it gets steeper and steeper and steeper. And a plane will stall, which is exactly what the housing market in Japan and in the United States did. Uh, I live in, a, in leafy North Baldwin, which is very nice. I pay about $500 a week or $25,000 a year to rent that property. But the property's worth $1.2 million. So the landowner, the, 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 the landlord who, who struts around saying, look, I rent out properties, I'm wealthy. He's getting a gross return, not, not a net return, a gross return of about 2%. It's an absolute bargain as far as I'm concerned. You can say, oh, rent's dead money, oh, dead money. To buy that property would cost me $60,000 a year in interest payments, and I can have it for 25. It's a bargain. Why would, I, why would I even bother? Why would I even look at buying a house when I can rent one so cheaply? And, and pocket the difference, basically. People say, rent is dead money, but let me assure you that interest payments are dead money by the same measure. The most optimistic economists that I talk to or, or, or read in the media, the most optimistic of them say for the next two to three years, prices will be level. Now, if you as a potential home buyer think prices will be steady for a few years, I'm better off to not buy, I'm better off financially to, to save a larger deposit, and I, I assure you, you cannot have too large a deposit when you buy a house. There's no, it's not possible to have too large a deposit. Um, it's extremely important to me as, as a fellow citizen to tell you it is important you not exchange renting a house for renting money from the bank. You will lose if you do that. So the bigger a deposit you've got, the, the, more, the, more, the harder you are to shift, the, the, the less likely you are to go bankrupt. And, and, and given, given that the optimists are saying it will be steady for three, two, or two to three years, why would you buy? Why would you even risk it if the most optimistic people are saying it'll be steady? We think it'll go down, but um, if, even if you don't accept our perspective, if you accept the bull's perspective, there's no upside. Wait. Save. Uh, we, we want to change the taxation base, take it off wages, take it off business, and put it on the net, what we call the natural endowment, which is land, mining, and things like radio spectrum, taxi licences, um, government licences, and, 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 and nature. Now, at the moment, we, we tend to tax individuals and businesses. This is going to change. If house prices don't come down dramatically, Australia's current rental system, which favours the landlord very heavily, will change quite dramatically because young people won't tolerate it. Um, you know, when it's a minority group of, of, of relatively under, uh, um, underprivileged people who rent, um, they, they've had to put up with it. But if, if, if a whole cohort of Gen Ys are, are going to be put through rental, they won't tolerate the current sets of rules and rules will change in Australia. Yeah.